Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my corner of Al Gore's internet. It is Sunday afternoon and it is a cool 65 degrees for those in the Chicago metropolitan area. And this is WPIX for Picks. Right now, you're listening to the soulful sounds of Ryan Little. That's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Happy Sunday. And we are back with another speed build. This one is called Magnolia. Well, no, is it Magnolia? I don't remember. It's something like that. You guys don't have to forgive me. It's on. It's on. Yeah, it is on The Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it at uh, on my page, The Pixelated Twix. You know, this started off so smooth. <laughs> It never lasts with me. It never lasts. All right, so um, it is not called Magnolia, but it is a greenhouse build. Now I've got two on the gallery, and I've actually got a speed build for that one, I believe, coming up uh, sometime this week. And I've been working on something, something. So um, you might see some duplicates, so to speak. Or just me trying to build something and doing it more than once to get the, the look that I wanted. Does that make sense to you? It does to me in my head. So go with me. <laughs> work with me, people. Work with me. Yes, yeah, so this was the first iteration of this restaurant, and I do have a second one. It's called Le Gabriel. Um, it is a French bistro restaurant really cozy kind of romantic this one doesn't give me the romantic vibe it gives me that family summertime eating outdoors kind of vibe a not ritzy but that farm to table kind of thing and it was based on magnolia if you guys are familiar with chip and joanna Gaines, two of my favorite people that i like to watch on tv um, they have the silos magnolia in austin texas and this is not the um i think this was the the furniture store i don't remember but do i ever remember probably not but yes, so this was based on that building and I felt like it was perfect for a restaurant. I don't know why. Maybe it is a restaurant. Um, if you live in the Austin area, let me know. Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. So this was um, actually one of my favorite restaurant builds before I built the other one that you'll see uh, because of the greenhouse look and the um just the openness it's bright it's cheery there's plants hanging again this is the first iteration of another build that's going to have sort of a similar look with the plants hanging down from the ceiling that's the look i was looking for if you've ever been to the restaurant this was something that was really popular back in the 90s um but it was a uh, the rainforest cafe um, that's something that some of us in Chicago know about. I'm pretty sure other larger cities have that, um, that restaurant, but you'd go in and there'd be vines hanging down. You'd hear all the, the, the noises of the jungle, very atmospheric. It's a vibe. If you like that kind of thing, you know, you felt like Adam and Eve out. <laughs> I don't know why I have my hands up in the air, but I do right now. You can't see me, but it's embarrassing guys. All right, so I was, like I said, really, really happy with this build. Um, I did go back and forth quite a bit with the colors, um, and I wanted to try different textures. So I, I added metal and wood and stone. It just worked for me. I, I think this would be actually a great build for like a modern, a modernized Granite Falls but this is dead smack in the middle of Windenburg where I love to play. I don't know about you guys, but Windenburg happens to be one of my favorite neighborhoods in The Sims 4. It's so malleable. I mean, is that what I'm looking for? Yeah, it's adjustable, malleable. You can create whatever look you want in this town if you want to go with something that's 
more royal or more medieval or modern, a mixture of both. That's what this is. I love it. It's great. I mean, Willow Creek is also another favorite neighborhood of mine because of the French Creole look love 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 that style of build so yeah we're back to magnolia i'm gonna keep calling it magnolia because i know it's not it but i'll make sure that i link the proper name or put the proper name up because i'm an absolute genius how could i forget the name of my own build because i just said it i'm a genius welcome to my channel <laughs> okay so i will forewarn you i forgot i didn't forget okay Yes, I did. I forgot to check that OBS was recording for a good portion of the, well, all of the furnishing for this build. So you'll see me start it, but you won't see me finish it. So you will see all the furnishing in the, the pictures that I post at the end of this video. I really apologize for that, but I did not want to waste all this good footage because I forgot to furnish the building or, or forgot to turn OBS on. Again, like a genius. And there you have it, folks. A day in a life of Pixie. Welcome to my world. All right. So I was told that by my good friend, Keo Sims, that I don't talk enough in my speed builds. And I probably don't. I know last week I kept it really, really brief. And it was a 30 minute long video. So I know a lot of you do stop by and watch speed builds and you liked to have a conversation or at least listen to the person talk. So here we are, we're having a conversation. You know what? Let me go ahead and take this time to thank those of you who are new subscribers. You guys um, have made my day. I want to say thank you for hitting that subscribe button and staying for a little while. I also want to thank those of you who have been with me since the beginning or at least close to the beginning or just been with me for a while. You're the, the real, you're the real MVP. You're amazing guys. I love you so much for hanging in with me, helping me grow, uh, watching me grow, uh, giving me encouragement, never letting me give up. And you guys just make my day. I always want to come back and talk to you, hang out with you. And I hope that you want to do the same. You know, I want to hear from you. I definitely want to hear about your day, how you've been doing, what you liked about my videos, what you didn't like. This is a safe place where you can give me feedback because it's greatly appreciated because how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to grow if I uh, don't get feedback? So Definitely. We are family here. That's what family does. That's what friends do. Real friends tell you when you look awful going outside. If they don't tell you the truth, they are not your real friends and you need to get some new ones. That's a little advice from me. Take it from me. Get you some real friends, guys. Get you some people that will tell you, hey, you got a boy in your nose or girl, don't wear that again. Please don't. Matter of fact, don't wear that at all. Let's go back in the room and find you something else, okay? So those are real friends. <laughs> I appreciate those people just like I appreciate you. All right, so what? Back to spill, shall we? Okay, um, I struggled a little bit with this because the look I wanted, I could not achieve without CC. You know, the roofing where it slants, I wanted to be able to put windows like the slanted windows there. I'm hoping in an, uh, an expansion pack or some kind of game pack or a stuff pack that we get slanted windows. We're almost there with the industrial windows. Just, just I need some of those windows on the roofs. Yeah. But I'm holding out for EA to do the right thing and give us our wishes. They did bring us stairs that we can adjust and curve around, sort of, but I'm happily satisfied with those. I don't need anything from you in that regard. Spiral stills, spiral stills, spiral stills are really good, but what was that, guys? <laughs> what was that? 
I don't know. Spiral stairs would be amazing, but I'm really happy with what they've given us so far. Um, I just want to commend the staff for working hard and being accessible to the community and, and listening. Um, I know you guys are working hard. I know you guys are trying and there's a lot of red tape. We get it. Um, I just want to applaud you for uh, what you've done so far. Yes, The Sims 4 is not perfect. Or no, The Sims 4 is not perfect. However you want to say that, it is not. But for what it is, I enjoy it. I have some complaints, yes. But I do enjoy what is in it so far. So if this isn't going to be the perfect uh, simulated IP, we can hold out for The Sims 5. Or if you guys are feeling froggy, there is a new game that's on the horizon. Um, it's, don't know, Pixel, Pexel, something, Pix, Pix, Paralives? There we go, Paralives. Um, I've been watching some videos on that. I don't know, how, how do you guys feel about it? Have you seen it? Um, the art style is very reminiscent of my time at Porsche. It's a little different. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Don't know how the pair of people, if that's what they're going to call them, are going to look. I think that's what's going to be my biggest, um, like drawback or drawback. Yeah, it's going to be the biggest drawback for me, depending on what the people look like. Because when I'm playing a simulated life, um, game, I do want some realism, um, the Sims 4 gives us that a little bit. The Sims 3 was a little, looked a little more realistic. Yeah. But um, I do like their art style of Sims 4. So the pair of lives, I've been watching it, but I'm not really sure if I'm quite on board with it yet. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to keep it qu a close what is it with me and my mouth today? I'm going to keep a close eye out on it because it has potential to be really, really, really cool. I mean, some of the customization, just the fact that you can uh, create a longer table just by dragging the pegs or um, creating a bunk bed just by pulling the bed up. That is so ingenious. I love it. If only the EA would see some of those things and take that to heart because honestly, that would probably clean up your menu or build by menu up quite a bit because then you don't need like, oh, here's a double bed and here's a single bed. And here's five of those. We could just need the one single bed. You can, you know, spread it out as far as you need and then give us some swatches, give us quite a few swatches. Um, yeah, so there's potential there. I'm just, you know, even if the game doesn't come to fruition, the the little um, ideas, the little ideas, the, the grand ideas that this creator has, yeah, more power to you. I'm, clap, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to clap too loud, but I'm, I'm clapping for you. Yes, keep up the good work. I wish I could help you out, but I have no programming skills whatsoever, but I can cheer you on. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully, like I said, Maxis will take some notes and maybe we'll see The Sims 5 pretty soon. And, you know, who, who knows what they'll come up with? Who knows? All right. So um, back to the build. Yes. Yeah, so you'll see that I'm coming quite far along. Um, I really, really like what I did here. Um, event, 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 very, very minimal on the, um, the uh, landscaping because you guys, if you're familiar with my builds, I do tend to go a little in on the landscaping because I'm not that great at it, but I do enjoy it sometimes because it's pretty relaxing. Uh, I just went a little minimal with this because, first of all, it's in the downtown area. So things tend to get a little more laggy for some people. So I didn't want to go too crazy. Plus, I went a little extra with the inside and you'll see it. It's not overbearing where you're not going to be able to run it or, you know, because restaurants are already buggy. But it's just enough. So I thought this was um, minimalistic landscaping would be great for 
this build. Oh, before I forget, um, I guess this would be the perfect time to give you guys a little bit of a channel update. Now, um, lately I have been doing more building than I have been LP recording. Um, that's just the mode I'm in right now and um, I'm enjoying it. So uh, you'll probably see more, well, not probably, you will see more speed builds on my channel for the time being. I'm just in my mode and I'm, like I said, having a good time doing it. Um, Tatiana, Journey to Redemption, is about to, well, at least her season, her first season is about to end. Um, I We have one more um one more episode and i hope you guys are enjoying that if you haven't watched it um please go by all means if you're into it um if you're into a little romance a little drama a little family um family issues definitely go check it out i'll make sure to excuse me link it in the cards and um calendar girl we're going to continue with her story um i was going to take the week off from calendar girl but i did that last week so i'm not going to do it again to you guys that are watching i will make sure to have a calendar girl calendar girl episode out for you and um i think that's it oh yeah we will definitely have a minecraft episode up for you uh, in the very, very, very near future, uh, Keo and I uh, need to just have a, a time to record another episode. So I hope you guys check that out. We had a great time. Um, the antics were real because that's just how we do. <laughs> and that is a normal day in the life with me and gaming. I also am going to bring Fallout 4 back. Um, I didn't really get a great response, but you know what? That's not like me. I enjoy what I play. And if people watch it, they do, you know, great. If they don't, that's okay too. Um, I just, I put it out there and I want to give people some mixture of entertainment because I am a multifaceted gamer. Check that word out guys. Yes. Um, so definitely we'll be bringing Fallout 4 back and uh, we will be continue on with Dragon Age. Um, and my goal with that, again, I've said this before, is to play all three Dragon Age games. Hopefully by the time I'm done, we'll have another Dragon Age game out. Yes, I'm excited. Are you? All right, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, again, I will reiterate that you will not see me actually furnish this restaurant. I did start it, but goofy me um didn't record the furnishings so you will see the pictures at the end at the very tail end you know right at the end of the video um uh, so you'll get a better look of how i furnish this restaurant it is available on the gallery for download at the pixelated twix i will make sure to have that information in the description box um that's it for me today guys i hope you enjoyed it if you're not a member of our family and you would like to come to our family reunion you know what to do all those lovely things you do on youtube subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know every time i upload i do upload at least three times a week sometimes more and until next time ciao
Looking in my eyes. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way around. Don't stop looking. But there's no need to fret it It's like a gift, it's about the thought No name might be too much And then go might take a while But thank you for coming I know that you're trying